Hi and welcome to Adventures with Birds on YouTube. Um, this is my second episode of recording for you and um, I'm going to tell you a bit about Books on My Bag. So Books on My Bag is um, an initiative that's been started to encourage people to go and buy books in real life bookshops. They do a uh, Books in My Bag uh, bookshop party day, which is on a Saturday, and that was actually not the Saturday that's just gone, but the one before that. And, and they encourage people to go and do a, a kind of bookshop crawl and pop into the local bookshops in their town and um, just uh, buy a couple of books and show some support for um, bricks and mortar bookshops, basically, um, because we know that there are ways of buying books that can be convenient, but... Um, Sometimes the people who facilitate that don't always pay as much tax on people and things like that. Um, so it's quite nice to go and particularly support your independent bookshops, but also just any general bricks and mortar bookshops in your town and show that books are your bag. So the idea is that if you go and do that on that weekend, uh, there are special limited edition tote bags because if you know anything about books and publishing, you'll know that the tote bag is the big thing uh, that's associated with any book giveaways. I've got um, a huge collection of lovely tote bags and um, I've got another one to add to my collection from this weekend. So, um, here is my Books on My Bag Tracy Emin bag. Now, um, these were limited edition and I got this from um, Colchester Waterstones um, on our high street and they had a few in there, so I picked one up when I popped in there. I also visited Red Lion Books as well, and um, I actually also popped into my local um, independent comic shop as well, Ace Comics, um, just to make it particularly papery um, weekend. So, um, just to give you another look at my, this is still full of the books that I bought, because I wanted to share them with you. So that's on one side, see Tracy M in there, and then on the back, um, lots of names of all the different writers. Um, I was a bit puzzled by Jane Austen with an I, but maybe that's just me remembering wrongly. I'm going to go and check on my copy of Pride and Prejudice in a minute. Um, so let me show you some of the things that I got. So I went to Waterstones first and um, I had a look and there were two things that stood out to me straight away. So the first one that I got is um, Malala's book. Um, I am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. Um, so this was um, written by Malala with the help of um, Christine Lam and uh, it seemed particularly apt because of course um, Malala has just been jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize which is pretty amazing. Um, this is published um, by Phoenix who are part of um, Orion and uh, I know that they were absolutely thrilled when um, Malala was awarded that prize, I think as were loads and loads of people in the, the kind of book world and just in the world in general. I think she's pretty amazing, so I'm really looking forward to reading that. My other purchase from um, Wallstones was this, which is um, Carla Shira's stuff on, as you can see, The Watcher in the Shadows. Um, it says, an, enigma an enigmatic toy maker who lives as a recluse in an old mansion, surrounded by the fantastical beings he has created. Um, an eerie figure that watches from behind the curtains of a locked room, strange lights that flicker through the mist from an abandoned warehouse, uh, lighthouse, a shadowy creature that hides deep in the woods and has already claimed one life. These are the elements of mystery that will bind Irene to Ishmael during a magical summer in Blue Bay when her mother becomes housekeeper to the secretive toy maker Lazarus Jan. Now, um, I think Carlos Ruiz Zafon has got a bit of a thing about mysterious toy makers. Um, the cover is just extraordinary. You can see it's kind of a, I don't know if you can see that, kind of a clockwork bird almost. Um, and I read his previous um, young adult release, um, which I really, really loved. And, and this, again, funnily enough, is um, published by um, Phoenix. Um, so <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Um, it's translated by Lucy Graves, who's his normal um, translator. Um, I absolutely loved the Shadow of the Wind book so far, um, and uh, I've read uh, The Prince of Mist and uh, The Watcher in the Shadows. 
of his kind of early stuff that he wrote before Shed with the Wind. I've also read Marina, which is that um, young adult book that I mentioned. Um, it was really, really creepy, quite sort of slightly Frankenstein-y kind of feel, settling in around Barcelona again. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That's kind of a wintry, Halloween-y read, I think. A bit spooky, that one. So then I went to um, Red Lion Books, which is an independent bookshop. It's actually quite well known, which I didn't really realised until recently where people were saying oh yeah Redline Books that's really well known um they support a lot of what Essex Book Festival does um and do a lot um just generally in the town they have a lot of signings um so I went in there and, you know support local bookshops so um I went to have a look downstairs because I know that um Redline often have a kind of a hardbacks that we've um, got left over so I went and had a bit of rummage in there and I found um, two great hardbacks I'm looking forward to trying. Um, the first one is Smart as you can see by Kim Slater and this is a kind of a uh, detective story. Um, some people have likened it to um, the mysterious incident of the dog, uh, the curious incident rather of the dog in the night time. Uh, the bag's falling over there sorry. Uh, and I love the cover, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I've actually got this on NetGalley um, and I haven't read it yet because um, I, I did have a Kindle but I just didn't really like reading on it very much but I've got an iPad mini now so I'll probably do a bit more, um, I'll catch up with my NetGalley, sorry NetGalley, um, but I'm even more likely to read it now that I've got it on paper. Um, it's a really beautiful hardcover, um, look at the inside, it's so cool. It's really cute. Um, so I'm really looking forward to um, reading this and finding out what happens. This is um, published by Macmillan, by the way. I've heard loads of people saying this is really good, so I'm looking forward to that. And then um, something a little bit older that I've sort of been thinking about for a little while, um, but didn't get around to buying, is Glow by Neb Bowman. Now, um, I read the beginning of The Teleportation Incident, which was his book... Um, nominate long listed for the Booker Prize a couple of years ago. Um, it was pretty good actually, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I know that he kind of annoyed a few people a little bit. Um, <laughs> he did an interview where he said that um, he wasn't really bothered if people um, sort of thought his book was quite good. He, want, he would want, like have a five star or a one star review um, and made some comments that I think people thought were a bit. But it's all about the book cover it again is absolutely fantastic and um, this is um, again kind of a mystery story in a way um, lots of people um, having to try to um, come to terms with a sort of weird drug that's flooded the system in London so it, it, it's supposed to be pretty interesting so give it a try there we go um, I did go along to as I said my local comic shop which is Ace Comics picked up haven't been there for a little while and I um, have some subscriptions to comics and so I picked up my subscriptions. I've got this pretty cool bag that they came in as well and um, reminded us that there is actually now a um, kind of winter free comics day, um, a kind of Halloween one, Halloween Comics Fest, you can see here. Um, some of you guys might have heard of Free Comic Day which is normally kind of May I think. Um, but there's also now a Halloween one as well, so it should be a little bit less manic. So um, I just got my usual comics that I get. I like Deadpool because it's quite, um, kind of breaks the fourth wall. He talks to you like you're actually there. Um, East is West, really, in uh, really interesting kind of futuristic, um, kind of Japanese culture meets cowboy culture sort of thing so that's quite a cool um series that I'm reading at the moment it kind of fits sci-fi um yeah Smallville <laughs> I was a huge fan of the tv series Smallville and so I was really really pleased when I heard that it was going to carry on as a comic so I read those um Buffy the Vampire Slayer same thing um now this has been going for a very long time and I absolutely loved the tv series Buffy and um I only found out recently that this actually is a comic as well. So um, I've got some kind of bound um, ones from the um, first season of um, 
the comic and it's it's actually now on season 10 and there were only um seven that were on the telly so there's a, there's been three seasons as it were actually as comics i've also got storm here now this has only just started and um you might know sorry um storm is one of the x-men um but she's also quite a cool character with quite an interesting origin story so there's Storm and um, Kill Shakespeare, which is uh, based on the idea of William Shakespeare, obviously, but it's kind of going back into stories and telling them differently. So that's my comics haul. Now, the last thing I've got to show you is that um, something that Red Lion do is that they actually, because they get sent proofs as a shop, um, they actually use um, Books in My Bag as a kind of time to give these away to customers as a, a free gift. Um, so I've got my mystery book here, I don't know what it is, so I thought I would unwrap it on camera and find out what it is. So, let's give this a try. They've actually wrapped it up really well so you can't see the name through the paper. There were a couple where I could almost see the name, but I thought no, I'm going to choose something else. So I don't know what this might be, uh, and this is a, a sort of advanced reading copy that they've been sent. Oh, get the paper open. Okay. So this is Keep Quiet by Lisa Scottaline, published by Headline. It says, um, the New York Times best-selling author has taken exciting new directions. She's writing gripping and emotional, raw issue-led fiction with the pace of a thriller, unforgettable hooks. Um, hmm, very intriguing. So it says, uh, you don't see the run until it's too late. Your son is behind the wheel. Should you... Hmm, should you keep quiet? Quite intrigued by this so uh, obviously I will um, have a look at this and at some point probably tell you what I thought about it so there we go thank you very much Redline for my um, freebie much appreciated and uh, I'm definitely going to be using my um, cool bag I think that's really awesome um, so there we go this book's my bag